Hello, how are we? My name is Hallie Evans and I'm on a mission to raise awareness around binge eating disorder and help you finally stop binge eating and achieve all your fitness goals. And today I want to talk about bulking up and how you can do it even if you have binge eating disorder. Now, before we get into today's video, can I ask you all to please consider subscribing if you haven't already, because it really helps the channel. It helps me create more content for people like you. And if you have any questions or topics you think I should make regarding binge eating disorder, then that would be really helpful as well. So if you could please drop down and leave a comment, I would find that really appreciative. Thirdly, I'm wearing a cap today because I haven't done my hair and don't really want to see you with oh, messy hair. So that's why I'm wearing a cap. But now we've crossed them all off, let's get into today's video on how you can put on muscle while still being a binge eater. So many of you will probably know if you've clicked on this video, but when we discuss bulking, this is a nutritional phase, which where we increase our calories past our maintenance calories. So we eat in a calorific surplus so in an attempt to put on muscle. This is why we do it. So if you are dissatisfied with the amount of muscle you currently carry on your frame, the common advice is to work out your maintenance calories and then increase them by either 100 to 500. And then obviously that can come and go higher and go lower depending on how much muscle you want to gain. Do I think that's good advice for binge eating? No, I do not. But I'll get into that and the reasons why. But when you hear bulking, this is what they mean basically. So put on muscle by eating in a calorie surplus. Now, if you're a binge eater, this may sound fantastic because you're probably stuck in that dieting phase of restricting, then binging, then restricting, then binging. So you think you'll increase your calories up and be in a bulking phase. And that will mean you won't binge. You will. So this be the better of bad news because bulking is not the answer when you have binge eating. It can be for some people, but I'm telling you, for the majority of people, it's not. And this is the reason why. So when you are binge eating because you're restricting calories, you then want to get to a normal way of eating. So you think you're going to start bulking, which means you're going to allow yourself to eat more meals more food but this does not work or you should not enter a bulking phase if you have not yet addressed your binge eating issues first and this is a mistake i made so when i was cutting and binge eating at the same time i wanted to, to bulk up because one i wasn't happy with how skinny or how lean i was with the amount of muscle that i had i wanted to put more muscle on but I wanted to stop binge eating. I didn't like the fact that I was always in a calorie deficit, which was leading me to binge eating and so on. So I increased my calories way up. And I was calling this a binge. Sorry, a bulk. But it wasn't a bulk. It was a binge. Because I was just allowing myself to eat way too much. It was not controlled. It was still binge eating. I was eating way more than I was previously because I wasn't cutting, but I wasn't bulking. I was still binging because I hadn't addressed the root cause of my binge eating. I was still in this need for, for food because I'd restricted myself for so long. So if you've come off a phase of where you've been restricting yourself and binge eating for the, the past however many months or even years in some cases and you think I'm gonna start bulking to fix my binge eating this will not work you will be in a great position to put on more muscle more body fat more weight because you'll be eating you know, a lot more calories because you won't be offsetting the binges with calorie deficit periods but it will not fix your binge eating it's not a good way to bulk because you'll add too much fat so this is what you need to do. You need to focus your nutritional goals on stopping to binge eat before you decide to go and bulk again. Because 
once you address your binge eating and getting a regular pattern of eating and what eating normally for you, then you can start to actually decide, okay, this is normal, this is a healthy way of eating for me. If I was to eat just a little bit more, then this would be this would be classed as bulking, or if I was to eat just a little bit less, even without cutting, then this wouldn't be classed as classed as binging. So what you need to do is you need to focus your nutritional goals on stopping to binge eat, purely just stopping to binge eat. Try not to worry about body composition or goals. I know it's tough, but that's what you'll have to yeah, attempt yeah. to do. And then once you've had a set period of where your nutrition has been classed as healthy or normal for you, and it's not classed as a binge, and once you've got stacks of evidence that that's shown that you are not binged anymore, then feel free to increase your calories a little bit and start bulking. And you can attempt them bulk and cut cycles. If it was me, personally, and you've been a binge eater before, I wouldn't even try and do these bulk and cut cycles. I would try and find a healthy body weight for you and a body composition that you feel good at and just train really fucking hard at that body composition. And then you don't have to mess around with your calories and bulking and cutting because that can lead to binging again in the future, in my, in my personal opinion. But the main takeaway is to fix your binging, do not try and bulk straight away. Try and have that period of not binging. Get that stack of evidence that you could not binge in anymore. Decide what is healthy eating for you and that you've nailed that. And once you have, then decide if you want to continue eating like that or if you do want to bulk up, then try and do it in a controlled way where you feel that you can do that now that you've addressed your binge eating. If anyone does like any tips with bulking, cutting, training, stopping binge eating, then please feel free to comment down below and then give you some tips or reach out to me at Harry Evans PT on Twitter and I write lots of things on there every single day of actual improvement tips on how we can live better lives and improve your health and fitness. So if you want some tips, follow me on Twitter. But if you've liked today's video, then please do consider liking and subscribing and I will see you next time.